Lucky Strike is an American brand of cigarette owned by the British American Tobacco Groups. Often referred to as Lucky's, Lucky Strike was the top-selling cigarette in the United States during the 1930s. History The brand was first introduced by R. A. Patterson of Richmond, Virginia, in 1871 as cut plug chewing tobacco and later a cigarette. In 1905, the company was acquired by the American Tobacco Company. In 1917, the brand started using the slogan, It's Toasted, to inform consumers about the manufacturing method in which the tobacco is toasted rather than sun-dried, a process touted as making the cigarettes taste more desirable. In the late 1920s, the brand was sold as a route to thinness for women. One typical ad said, Reach for a lucky instead of a sweet. Sales of Lucky Strikes increased by more than 300% during the first year of the advertising campaign. Sales went from 14 billion cigarettes in 1925 to 40 billion sold in 1930, making Lucky Strike the leading brand nationwide. Lucky Strike's association with radio music programs began during the 1920s on NBC. By 1928, the band leader and vaudeville producer B. A. Rolfe was performing on radio and recording as B. A. Rolfe and his Lucky Strike Orchestra for Edison Records. In 1935, ATC began to sponsor your hit parade, featuring North Carolina tobacco auctioneer Lee Aubrey Speed Riggs. The weekly radio show's countdown catapulted the brand's success, remaining popular for 25 years. The shows capitalized on the tobacco auction theme and each ended with a signature phrase sold, American. The company's advertising campaigns generally featured a theme that stressed the quality of the tobacco purchased at auction for use in making Lucky Strike cigarettes and claimed that the higher quality tobacco resulted in a cigarette with better flavor. American engaged in a series of advertisements using Hollywood actors as endorsers of Lucky Strike, including testimonials from Douglas Fairbanks, concerning the cigarette's flavor. Lucky Strike was also a sponsor of comedian Jack Benny's radio and TV show, The Jack Benny Program, which was also introduced as the Lucky Strike Program. The brand's signature dark green pack was changed to white in 1942. In a famous advertising campaign that used the slogan Lucky Strike Green has gone to war, the company claimed the change was made because the copper used in the green color was needed for World War II. American Tobacco actually used chromium to produce the green ink, and copper to produce the gold colored trim. A limited supply of each was available, and substitute materials made the package look drab. The truth of the matter was that the white package was introduced to modernize the label and to increase the appeal of the package among female smokers. Market studies showed that the green package was not found attractive to women, who had become important consumers of tobacco products. The war effort became a convenient way to make the product more marketable while appearing patriotic at the same time. Famed industrial designer Raymond Louis was challenged by company president George Washington Hill to improve the existing green and red package, with a $50,000 bet at stake. Louis changed the background from green to white, making it more attractive to women as well as cutting printing costs by eliminating the need for green dye. He also placed the Lucky Strike Target logo on both sides of the package, a move that increased both visibility and sales. Hill paid off the bet. The message LSMFT was introduced on the package in 1945. Post-World War II As a result of British American Tobacco PLC's buying out American Tobacco Company in 1976, Lucky Strike came under control of BAT. The company acquired Formula One's Tyrrell Racing Team in 1997 and rebranded it as British American Racing the following year sponsoring the team with its Lucky Strike and Stablemate 555 brands. The team was bought outright by partners Honda by 2006, though Lucky Strike continued to sponsor the team until the end of that year. Tobacco advertising in motorsports, in 1978 and 1994, export rights and U.S. rights were purchased by Brown and Williamson. In the 1960s, Filtered styles were launched in addition to a mentholated version called Lucky Strike Green. This time green was referring to menthol and not to the overall package color. In late 2006, 
both the full-flavored and light-filtered varieties of Lucky Strike cigarettes were discontinued in North America. However, Lucky Strike continued to have marketing and distribution support in territories controlled by British American Tobacco as a global dry brand. In addition, R.J. Reynolds continues to market the original, non-filter Lucky Strikes in the United States. Lucky Strikes currently have a small base of smokers. In 2007, a new packaging of Lucky Strikes was released, with a two-way opening which split seven cigarettes from the rest. In the same year, the company used the world's smallest man, He Pingping, in their ad campaigns. In 2009, Lucky Strike Silver changed their UK packets from the quintessential red design to blue, albeit with a red teaser outer covering the packet. Cultural References The cigarette brand is referenced in many modern forms of media. In art, American colonial cubist artist Stuart Davis represented the brand in his 1921 painting, Lucky Strike, in music, Billy Joel's 1983 song Keeping the Faith, from the album An Innocent Man, mentions the brand in the lyric, I took a fresh pack of luckies and a mint called Sen Sen. My old man's Trojans and his old spice aftershave. Minneapolis indie rock band Howler based the artwork of their debut album America Give Up on a Pack of Lucky Strikes. In the Atari's song All You Can Ever Learn Is What You Already Know, an empty box of Lucky Strikes is referred to in the second verse. In Rodney Atkins' song These Are My People, he mentions choking on the smoke from a lucky strike somebody lifted off his old man. In Jason Aldean's song Back in the Cigarette, he mentions an ashtray being full of lucky strikes while inside of a hotel room. In ZZ Top's song I'm Bad, I'm Nationwide, they mention the passengers in their car are smoking lucky strikes as they cruise the highway. In Dropkick Murphy's song Sunday Hardcore Matinee, there is a line mentioning a pack of luckies among the possessions of those en route to the show. In Tom Waits's song Kentucky Avenue, he mentions having half a pack of lucky strikes in the first verse. In television, in the hit 1980s NBC television series Miami Vice, the character Det. James Sonny Crockett smoked unfiltered Lucky Strikes. The package is occasionally visible, particularly in the two-hour pilot, Brothers Keeper, and the episode Calderon's Demise. Johnson ceded to pressure to not smoke on camera later in the show's history. Van Montgomery from the TV show Reba wanted to start smoking Lucky Strike cigarettes when he was medically told to stop playing arena football. In the acclaimed AMC television series Mad Men, Lucky Strike is a major client for the fictional advertising agency Sterling Cooper. A fictitious plot is also presented for the birth of the legendary slogan It's Toasted. Lucky Strike in the HBO series Boardwalk Empire, for many years, Lucky Strike Tobacco sponsored the Jack Benny program, on both the radio and television versions of the show. In the season premiere of American Horror Story, Freak Show, Elsa Mars smokes a cigarette at a hospital and says, It's fine. It's Lucky Strike. It's good for you. In film, Lucky Strike cigarettes are featured frequently throughout the Miniseries Band of Brothers, as well as verbally referenced to by Sergeant Malarkey in the episode Bastone. Filtered and unfiltered Lucky Strike cigarettes are smoked by Johnny Depp's character in The Ninth Gate. In the film Misery, based on the novel of the same name by Stephen King, James Caan's character, Paul Sheldon, smokes one unfiltered Lucky Strike upon the completion of every novel he writes. In other uses, former U.S. Senator Jesse Helms handed out Lucky Strike cigarettes, which were his personal brand of choice in his Senate office to meeting attendance until it became utterly unfashionable. In Thomas Pinkin's acclaimed novel, Gravity's Rainbow. The true tyrant hangs around, distributing lucky strikes, long enough to find at least what's up with this unlucky strike, here. In Donna Tartt's The Secret History, the character Henry Winter is said to smoke lucky strikes. See also, Tobacco Smoking, References. External Links Brand Lucky Strike at cigarettespedia.com, Gallery of Classic Graphic Design featuring Lucky Strike Cigarettes, Lucky Strikes? By Barbara McKelson at snopes.com.